So you'd notice uh, as they feed, but today's weather as well, it doesn't encourage a lot of them to fly around. So that's why I will not be seeing a lot. But they tend to fly like quickly, they're starting to come there. Uh, once they dispose meat, you'll see them coming all over. But when it's very warm, you'd see them most of the time flying above, uh, above the vehicle. Just that they rely mostly on thermals or heat waves to travel around or to fly around. So, uh, when weather conditions are like this, they don't really use, uh, they use a lot of energy, mm. uh, like when it's uh, very warm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Are you good? Are you good, man? So yeah, vultures don't really mind eating this type of uh, meat, whether mm. old or even meat that carries mm. pathogens that, ca that causes different types of diseases. Mm. Uh, they have very acidic digestive systems. You're looking mm. at a pH level of about 1 and 2, mm. which is very, very corrosive. And that's why most of the time vultures are associated with dead trees is because of as they catch, they kill the foliage of the goes on there. You'd notice Mara Blue Stars are actually seeking opportunities to spill the meat from the vultures' beds. Okay, so they can really effectively scavenge like vultures can due to the difference in how their beaks are shaped as well. You look at the vultures, they have a food that allows them to easily share the meat or harvest the meat from big pieces of bones and they also have shorter legs that allows them to... <laughs> Vultures have this shorter legs that allows them to stabilize this meat that they are scavenging on. 